All right, well, I'm off on a little adventure down to Kangaroo Valley. I've got the Hobie on the roof racks and the back full of all my Hobie gear and fishing rods, etc. And uh, I'm going to stay down at a little place my brother's staying at tonight. And then uh, first thing early morning, I'm going to put the, the Hobie links in at the Tallawa Dam. And I'm going to set off on a little day's excursion. Yeah just scouting basically and searching around uh, for some fish as well obviously I'll be trying to target bass which is the most common fish that's down there Uh, yeah, full fogged out sort of morning, taking my time heading down the road to Tallawa Dam. I'll check, check back in soon. You can see that fog. Yeehaw. Little bass there. Yay! First little fish. Have a look at him. Hey, we go. Oh, he's only a little tiger, a little tacker. It's all the same. It's always nice to catch uh, a fish, especially the first one. Just a little guy. It goes to show that they're still, you know, here and around. So that's pretty cool. And pop this little guy back in. Good stuff. Yeah, he's a fish. Change that with the old switch boat, change the lure. <coughs> hey, another little bass, it's only a little tiny guy. Again. Interesting when you change the lures over. Pass it the same snag. And catch catch a fish. Good stuff. Little bass. tiny tacker probably 20 centimeter maybe not so not even 20 just love the Australian bass they're such a cool critter I'll pop him back in and let him go back that's cool all right mate enjoy
Gee whiz, it's a pretty place up here. There's a lot of uh, standing dead timber like trees. Must have been when they flooded it years ago. Good size, now your bass. Nice fish. So he's probably going to be 30 odd centimetres. Thirty-three centimetres. Yeah? Oh no. Yeah, yeah, thirty-three. Thirty-three centimetres on the scale. Great little fish. Yeah, you're probably looking pretty good there in the sunlight. So, um, yeah, there's a few like snags around, but there's some nice, um, nice big boulders leading into the water as well. So that's what I thought I'd, I'd do there and give it a quick go. All right, buddy, time for you to go swimming. Thanks for coming along. Another lure, little bass. bag. Oh. oh man. Far out, I lost him. Well, that was scared the hell out of me. Right up close to the boat. on the surface. Ew! 
<laughs> I thought that might be the trick after that one tea bag me from the lure hanging out of the snag tree. Nice little bassie in the sunlight. He's hit that cicada profile, that's pretty cool. Let's bring him up and have a look. There he is, it's probably 20, 25. Okay, mate. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff, just a little guy. And uh, yeah, he, he went straight over on that cicada, so I might just try that along here a little bit more. Haven't had a whole lot of success on the diving lures. Um, but yeah, so let's see how we go. I'll get put him on the little measure, but he's only a little guy. Twenty-five. Yep, Fish on. That's a trolling. There's like a pretty good space. Yeah, nice, nice fish. Beauty. Let's clear this camera. I was taking some filming at the time. Okay, buddy. Oh, he's a good size. Yeah, he'd be the uh, biggest of the day, which is uh, how it is sometimes, but that's trolling. Yeah, he's a bit of a bruiser. Like, you know, not ginormous, but I'm pretty stoked. That's a good fish. Yeah, he's nice and thick and broad. Again, he's taken that nice little lure that I've been using. Nice. Okay, let's get him out of these hooks. Yeah, there you go, 34, nice bass, pretty stoked for that. I was on the way back, heading back to pull out, which is gonna take a little bit of time. Great to pull that guy in. Nice work, mate, hitting that trolling lure. Another one, another one on the troll, 
Not quite the jumbo as the last one. Okay, same little lure. It's been pretty deadly today, that guy. Okay, it's just a little 20 centimetre version. But happy with 20 centimetres, especially when you're not uh, catching stacks, but I'm pretty, pretty happy with the catch, especially as the first time I've fished down on the, the Tallawa Dam area. All right, buddy, let's go back. Hitting hard. Huh? <laughs> clear this guy. Okay. Oy. Yeah, this one feels pretty good. I might bring him over this side. Put your weight in it. Definitely. Be able to pull up a few of these size, these size ones uh, on the cast, but not meant to be. Very good, how exciting. Yeah. Oh, big boy. Yeah, he's bigger again. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna get those doors out before he goes nuts on me. So that was on a different lure this time. Yeah, he's a beaut specimen. He's a real good fish. Back to that little lure little diving bib lure I was using earlier. Get rid of him. There he is, look at that. Fins up. Getting there now, that's a really nice bass. Like I said earlier, uh, would have been great to have caught a few of these casting, but they've all seemed to have been uh, coming on for this uh, trolling run that I've just been doing. Okay, yeah, he's a uh, good size. All right, 37, oh no, yeah, come back, 36, 36 centimetre fish. Give him a bit of a swim. Yeah, he won't want to hang around long once he gets a bit of that oxygen. Nice. You. All right, I'll let him go. to go. You ready big boy? See ya. Go on. Yeah. Yeah, trolling lures. I pretty much uh, use that form um, just when I'm getting from one place to another. Um, or I'm in an area where there's a lot of kind of dead water or whatever. So I'll just always throw a couple out. I can see here on the Garmin I'm in about four meters of water. The two little diving lures, one on each side, dive down to like one, one and a half metres. And, that's, and that is a strike, but he hasn't had, hit the bar. He's missed the hooks. And there you go, so and that's, 
that's how I do it. Guess you never know what's uh, ready to hammer it. You do cover a lot more water trolling, but you'd, you know, arguably I'd much prefer to cast, especially surface poppers, any day. Yeah, great day uh, on, the, on the river here. Beautiful, you can see like it's just immaculate weather. And I came out at first light. Just wanted to sort of see how far I could paddle in a day. It's not a full day. It's only, what is it now? It's 1.30. So I've been, um, so I've been on the yak about seven hours now. Definitely made a big day of it, and I'm just trolling back towards the Talawa Dam pickup point. I think next time I'll come down and plan to camp, bring the tent. And the Hobie Lynx has been fine for the job, obviously, in this weather condition. Uh, there's a slight breeze now, which is kind of coming behind me. Um, but yeah, all in all, pretty magic day. And yeah, I'd have to load in a camping, like a tent and some more food and cooking gear and stuff. So I'll sort that out for the next time down at Kangaroo Valley. Yeah, fantastic little morning. Probably over 10 bass and the, and the biggest bass to 37 centimetres. So a couple of nice ones at 34 and all the rest of them around 20 odd and a couple of smaller ones. But yeah, great, um, great place to come and fish, especially if you get the weather like I've had here today. Absolutely spectacular. Definitely going to come back and do it in a camping sleepover style. So stay tuned for that episode. All the best. See you next time.